Police are looking for suspects in the city's latest case of catalytic converter thefts. It's a growing crime not only here in Western Mass, but across the country. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli has the latest. This is a national problem that's been growing through the past few years. Surveillance photos captured suspects between 1 and 2 a.m. on August 16th as catalytic converters were stripped from six vans at a Springfield business. That business, which asked to remain anonymous, hit for the second time. Ryan Walsh, public information officer for the Springfield Police Department, tells Western Mass News he's seen a few dozen cases in the city this year. Locally, a school bus company in Agawam, a truck dealership in West Springfield, and residents in Chicopee and Ludlow all affected. While the city of Springfield can deter the sale of catalytic converters through an online database, that's not the case elsewhere. Their laws in different states may not force them to track those items. We also spoke with David Vitavelli, the owner of Lindale Garage in Springfield. He calls the theft a quick and easy operation. Some of them use it like a tubing cutter. It doesn't make any noise. And they've stolen them right from the driveway. Vitavelli tells me at his garage they've worked on at least 15 cars over the last two years with stolen catalytic converters. And some models go for four figures. The uh, Toyota Prius, you know, it's a, they, they tell me that they pay, the salvage people pay $1,000 for them. And his business has even fallen victim. The kid went underneath the car without jacking it up or anything and came out with the converter. So what can you do? Vitavelli says there are products you can install to deter thieves, but they can run two to three hundred dollars. Ryan Walsh suggests that businesses utilize cameras and alarm systems, and residents park close to their homes. If you can't park in a garage, back your car up, utilize cameras, utilize motion sensor lights. This is an ongoing investigation. Anyone with any information is advised to contact the Springfield Police Department. Reporting in Springfield, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News.